Well, I want to touch on something real quick prior to getting into uh, today's video, which I think is a pretty dang good video. But I want to throw it out there. Yesterday, we uploaded a video that is stating the truck giveaway. It's a it's a truck giveaway plus a all expenses paid fishing trip, uh, rods, baits, and a couple uh, gift cards to the Carl's and or GuggenBaits.com. Now, there are some comments that I've came through that I would say I think I saw three or four max out of maybe a thousand. So, that, I mean, you're telling me it's a very small amount of people. There's always a couple bad apples in a large group. That's either said I was a scammer or I was a fraud, which to me absolutely blew my mind, but it's not a big deal. I want to touch on that real quick because I know that some of you probably read it like, what is it? If you don't know me, you may think otherwise, but I know a lot of you guys and gals that are watching right now know that that is never my intention. I don't mislead people and don't do anything like that. So yes, it's very true. We are going to give away a truck. The, the same one that I posted It's the same one I've had for a year. Um, yes, it's a used truck clearly because I've, I've had it for a little while. I've fully rebuilt it and I think it's a good truck. Great truck at that. Yes, we're giving away an all expenses paid fishing trip. Okay, and plus the, the baits and the rods and everything else, that's all real. I did state that every single like purchased apparel, which I wanna say thank you to every single person. You you helped me out tremendously yesterday recouping a lot of the money that is spent on this truck. I wanna say sincerely thank you. Um, once again, every hurt, shirt, hat, and everything else, it counted as a submission. So one shirt, one one hat and shirts, two, the kind of deal. Now there were some people that, that apparently were getting really salty about that. I don't really understand why I stated, go look at the rules. Uh, inside there it does state that you can submit a an entry to to win the truck and everything just by mailing a, a submission in. I stated that purchasing the apparel really helps me recoup all the funds and everything and it counts as a submission each each item. And I want to make sure that everybody knows that I'm not misleading anybody in any sort of fashion. This this is a 100% true legit thing. We've had our lawyers look through it. Nothing that I'm doing is, is incorrect. And like I said, I want to state it one more time. Thank you to every single person who has purchased an apparel item who has helped me significantly recoup all the money that I put into that truck and that's going to be put forth to flying the person down here and putting them up on a hotel and I mean that stuff's not cheap so but I want to say thank you to everybody who understands and is not just a bad apple trying to spread hate because um, that is always going to happen in the comment section so anyway thank you to every single person I just wanted to say that before we hopped into today's video and uh, March 20 March 24th the second to last Sunday the winner will be picked, and I'll do it on camera and hand-selected. You guys will see it. So, Other than that, I do love every single one of you guys. Thank you so much. And uh, please, do enjoy this video. And, uh, yeah, have a good Sunday night or Monday or Tuesday, whatever day it is. So I'm going to try to be as unbiased as I possibly can. I brought Flair along with me, by the way. He's, he's... Hey guys, I'm here for you. We're, we're going to do uh, rob things and try to break things, I guess. <laughs> we're going to do a comparison. We got an Ozark Trail, and we got a loose speed stick, and then we got the Guggen Squad one. I'm going to throw it right out the gate. Theirs doesn't have any line on it. There's one difference I've noticed. Is it like the thing now to have bright colors? I was going to say. Is that like the thing? It's, uh, it's pretty bright. I guess this one's other... not that bad, but that's yeah. like... Uh... Orange. Yeah, orange and green and... I guess. Um, these are all two pieces, well, I think. No, that's a one no, piece. That's a one piece. Right? Is, that, is this mm -hmm. other one a one piece? Oh shoot, they're both one pieces. So these should be stronger than a two piece, correct? Yeah, should be. Should okay. Be. Should there be. you go. I didn't even, I didn't, honest to God, realize that. I thought they were all one piece or two pieces. Excuse me. Okay. Oh, by the way, I bought to make it fair, since they didn't have line, I bought 55 pound braid or excuse me, 50 pound braid. I'm gonna put them on both or all three. I don't know why I said both. Oh, you know what I'm also gonna do? Should I just leave these somewhere random and give them the GPS coordinates and just give them away? Sure. All right. By the end of this video, if these things survive, which I'm sure they, they, they might, who knows, I'll just leave the uh, GPS coordinates somewhere for you guys to go and uh, pick them up. Deal? 
Let me strip this thing all the way or what? It's kind of like, I think or the I way I, I had to strip it is just like, give it to Matt Kendrick. Matt Kendrick, go for a jog. What the? <laughs> <laughs> Here, I'll, I'll help you. I'll go this way. Here, let go. Let go. There's a lot of line on there. Uh, we got to take some line off of that one to put some some actual 50, 50 pound bread. I did this last time. The only reason why we're doing this now is because I, I did prove that the rod, the Guggen rod, can pull a truck. It can, it can, I would swing some weights off. Um, we're going to do the same test with all those. I'm not going to mimic the same test with the Guggen rod because we've already proven that it can do it. I just want to see if they can. And then we're going to do a head to head battle, like with the rods. Like, if these ones can get past the same test that the Guggen rod did, then they're worthy of battling it out. They're just battling it out. I don't know why I was doing like this. They're battling it out. It's still going. Yeah, they're still ripping it. <laughs> Round two. So if you guys are, are, are wondering um, currently where these Guggen rods are, I believe they are going to be in every Dick's, sporting goods that is, by March 3rd. And they're in a whole bunch of Walmarts, almost all of them. Because I know that's going to be another question: is where can you get the indestructible rod at? Um, there you go. You heard, I heard it first. I can't believe I didn't notice that they, these were one piece. I feel like an idiot. It's a lot of line. It's a lot of line. Okay, you can cast whatever bait as far as you want. Oh, there's yeah, no, there's a lot. That's a lot of line. Well, I'm going to uh, get these things all spooled up, and I'll see you guys here in a second. Just an absolutely excessive amount of line on these things. Cast it. Cast as far as you want. <laughs> You'll I mean, never run out. No. I promise. Never. never okay, so I want you guys to know I am not bashing any any company. I just bought the same two rods that were in the same price range at the same store as this one. I'm just gonna start out the gate with 10 pounds, right out the gate, just swinging. Oh, probably shouldn't be doing it on this truck, but. I do get slightly nervous when I do do this. Oh my god! Oh my god. You gotta be kidding me! Oh, it makes me so nervous. I can't even watch. Oh, oh it's killing me. How, how is that not breaking? I don't know. Oh, I'm just waiting for it to happen too. I can't do it. Oh my god, I can't do it. I can't. I don't know if you guys can feel the intensity, but my heart's like racing. I don't know why, but that's like, you're just waiting for a huge explosion. You want to do those? No. <laughs> I don't want to do any of these. I feel like it's going to like shatter in my face or something. It's, oh, I don't like this. Nope. I don't know. I don't like it. So, since we're kind of worried that these rods might explode, I'm just going to try to lift it first. Am I kind of slightly worried? Yeah. Oh, dude, I don't know if this is going to work. Okay. Alright. I know. I know. It didn't break? It feels like I just don't know. What do you think? It's all about the angle though. That's the problem. Like, the angle with the dangle. If I turn it this angle. way, it would explode. It's all about the angle. Because if the further you walk back, like the less pressure there is right at that bow. Oh, you're right. So you got to just go like straight up. Right there. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's not breaking. <laughs> okay. All right, give me the next rod. This is just 10 pounds. Really? This drag's already broken, yeah. No way. Yeah. You can hold you can hold the spool with your hand. Next up is a really sketchy one. Oh, dude, I can feel it in the handle already. <laughs> you got medical personnel on scene today, Robert. Okay, 10 pounds. Yep. I will say right now that the reel on this one, I think we're having a little bit of drag issues with this reel pull. Okay, that hurts, yeah. yeah no, nope, I'm pretty sure the, the uh, that reel is just done for. The Ozark Trail's having a little bit of a, oh, it's actually a quantum reel, never mind. Stuck. Okay, so at the gate, I will say the Ozark with the quantum is having a little bit of reel problem or uh, drag issues, I guess you'd say. Oh, hi neighbor, I don't know. That's probably think it's really strange. How you doing? I've never met any of these people right here, by the way, so. I'm not gonna swing this one off. Oh my god! 
What? How is that not breaking? There's no way the other ones are going to make it. I heard the one cracking. They both cracked. I yeah. could not. Yeah. It was bent where your hand was. All right. All right. All right. We got to figure this out. Do I want to do it? Should we do it? That one can make Yep. You can tell that 15 pounds on a rock a lot. I am going to give an unbiased review on reels, by the way. The only issue that's having is that Quantum's having some drag. This one's not. <laughs> did it get you? <laughs> it did not feel good. There's no. <laughs> oh, you! It got off the ground and then just snapped. Yeah. It was over. Yeah, it barely got off the ground. Yeah, that one's toast. Damn it! That's toast. This is so entertaining. I'm glad I'm the one down here, not up there. This is funny. I like this. Oh you ever tie a Palmar knot around a 15 pound weight? It's, real, it's a lot of. It's a lot of fun. I'll tell you what. Hopefully yeah, that knot doesn't break. That didn't really go that well. Yeah, this one did. <laughs> Alright, boys! Oh. Yep. This guy, I felt it come up. It came up, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I think that's. I, now I want to put them both side to side. Alright. Was, was that cracking? That had been cracked. Something was not. I heard cracking. something. Now, who's? which one's going to win? Should we tie it on to... Get tied tie onto your trailer. Put the handle down. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Through here. Uh, I know, it's crazy. I mean, Up, Jake. I definitely heard it. This one exploded. This is the lose. I will say right now, this is the lose. Okay, so you got to lose. The lose reel was actually good. It actually, the drag and everything held up just fine. Oh, uh, right now it's tightened down like crazy. The lose drag actually held up fairly well. Uh, for some reason, the rod exploded and the Ozark trail didn't explode. But the Ozark's trail, the quantum that's on there, is pretty much broken. Okay, I'm sure I'm gonna get some hate for exploding a rod on camera. This is for testing purposes, don't give me that. Phone you want a rod? There you go. Sweet also, nice. that smell didn't come. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> oh! Oh shit! That was. <laughs> didn't hold up this uh, truck. <laughs> Well, I'm not feeling too confident about this. I'll be honest with you. It's uh, it's not looking. Our little our uh, contraption we're trying to make right here is just not really working. We're using scotch tape for packing stuff. It's just not really holding what we need to hold. But we're gonna try it. Yeah. Hopefully, it doesn't get sent through the windshield. That's about all <laughs> hey there. guys, give away this truck. Comes with a free broken windshield. Are we good? Yeah. Oh, you put a little. A little less dangled. See how mine's tight? Probably should make it a little tighter up. Pretty yeah. even look. Yeah. Oh yeah, that makes more sense. Just reel uh, it up. Yeah. Not a lot of common sense going on in my brain these days. So we got it. We got it set up just fair enough. I'm gonna back up as far as I can. We probably should have gave myself some more room, but these right here, whichever one breaks first, is uh is the loser. We're going Ozark Trail. And quantum is a pair and Guggen rods. So the entire Guggen rod setup is another one. Braid snapped before that. Dude, day. I was not expecting. Were you expecting that? You can't tell me you were expecting that. That, that, was, that was nearly 90 degrees. It was just like gone. Line broke. Can't break right. it. You, you seriously can't break it. No, we have to. We have to do it. We have to. We have to try to break yeah, it. Yeah, I know. I know. All right, let's try it again. <laughs> I cannot, it was seriously like 90 degrees. Could you even see it? That was <laughs> 90 degrees. That was nuts. Hey, good job on your rods, buddy. <laughs> 
<laughs> I cannot believe that I actually just withstood that. Yeah, the line severed. Yeah, the knot. What's that? I would count that as a really good catfishing yeah. rod. So it's really light. It's real light, but it doesn't break. <laughs> I don't know how to break. The, the actual line broke. It wasn't even the knot. How do you know? How do you? You got to get either stronger line or you no, try it again. We're gonna no, we're gonna try it again. I'm not giving up. Our our job is to figure out how strong this is. Wow. Yeah, I will. I'm just I'm I'm, dude. This thing was like, like this. I don't know. Do we want to set it? I wouldn't mess with anything. Leave just leave it. it okay. The goal is to test the limits, and I don't feel like we would test the limits if we didn't break it. So you need to know what the limit is. So we're gonna give it a shot. Kind of sad to see it break, but it, it didn't shatter like the other one. No, so it didn't it shatter. Kinda, it just kind of cracked. Yeah, it just cracked. Oh, it broke right there too, dude. It's like that's weird. It's not even. It's not like it didn't snap. It just kind of like bent. It's the angle of the dangle right here. <laughs> before, I mean, before and after. Finally broke it. Since I told you guys in gals, I was gonna give away three of these rods. If they if they lasted, they clearly didn't. But you know what? The Guggen rod is surpassed the the competition. So that means I'm gonna give away three no matter what. Leave a comment down below. Tell me what kind of videos you guys would like to see when it comes to testing the limits on these rods. And uh, I'll have them randomly selected. And uh, please, please, please leave your your uh, Instagram handle or your your email account. Or don't leave your email actually. Just leave your Instagram account. So then we can send you. An, I need riders. Anyway, hey. I do enjoy this videos with you guys. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for taking the time to watch these crusty videos. Other than that, I never, I never, I never, I, 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 I